start, it's really frustrating. One of the hardest I've done, I think everybody tells me, um, grade five piano is where it actually really starts to step up a level. So um, learning it was really hard. It took quite a long time. If I try too hard, I just sort of lose where I am. I make more mistakes. I don't know why, but I, I, I make more mistakes and then I can't go from where I was, usually. Okay, just do that. Do it with the right hand only. I've never played trills before. I reckon you need to do it if that's And good. it's really complicated. You're gonna have to go slower. No. Because you you don't come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to. I find it really frustrating. I don't know why. But I get quite annoyed. So <laughs> I'm serious, every time you play it, from now on you have to play the trill every time and we've got to learn all the other trills. Pretty much my whole family plays music. My mum used to play piano. She can read music quite well. Get it right first in time, as fast as you want to go. Okay. My parents convinced me to go to the audition for the Australian Boys Choir and the next few days I got a letter saying I would be able to join the choir. I like singing to family, but like people I don't know, I don't like singing on my own, so it's good to be in a choir with all lots of other people. I love people coming to watch, and I guess I guess I could say I like showing off a bit. When I get onto stage, I see my family, they're like waving madly. I just smile and it's like really embarrassing because you just see this guy, he's got this massive grin and like everybody else is calm. My teacher's name is Yayoi. She's Japanese. Your left hand. Well, she'll get me to play my pieces and then whilst I'm playing them, she'll take notes. And then after, tell me about what I did wrong or what I did good, what I need to practice on. And then she'll put little sort of stickers on so I, can, I know where the trouble spots are. on like little tiny things like the trills. Yes, so, yes. Because yes. so. at the start um, I would play it just without the trills and then I added the trills in afterwards. I still haven't learned all the trills. But. I'll, I'll, I'll try the first trill but I sort of have to slow down a bit so it shouldn't or it should. Try to fit it in. Okay. Okay. When she played it first to see if I wanted to learn that, it sounded really cool but it sounded quite hard, which it was. So she said to learn bar by bar, so learn one bar one day and then another bar the other day and then put those two bars together and play it and keep on adding and then until you have the whole song. Too 
strict, but she just sort of states what you have to do instead of yelling at you or being too soft. She's a really good player and she's very musical. <laughs> She's my role model, obviously. I love classical music, but I also love, like, um, all music, because my family listens to a whole range of music. Jazz, blues, classical, pop. When you learn a bit and you add it to the bits that you've already learned, it's like, oh, you finally another bit and it just becomes more fluent. because he makes funny faces and he's sort of, he's really creative. Um, I think I've worked it out already. Because so. he's a jazz player, he knows all these good chords. Do you need help with going back? Yeah, maybe just show me how you turn around. Okay. Mm -hmm. He'll be playing a piece of music and he'll sort of give it his sort of touch. Sitting down on the piano and improvising, just playing stuff. I play and I feel good when I work out, oh, this, this note, I don't know, sounds good with these three notes. I don't really have to think about it. It sort of seems like my fingers are doing all the work. I really find classical music quite beautiful, especially Mozart. I think he puts so much love and passion into his music. When I'm learning it, I get quite frustrated, but once I've learnt it, it's sort of like I'm, my brain's not thinking about it. It's sort of like the music's flowing out of my fingertips. Okay, um, wait, how much is it? Okay. 